Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a follow-up video to the previous video on making a volumetric cloud. I did get some feedback from another great light waver, Prometheus. If I try to get to his uh, site right here, he's got a nice website and he really knows a lot about cloud, really helpful. And he had some suggestions that I thought were really, really helpful. So the clouds I initially made were more light and thin and, and all white. But if you want to add more texture and depth to your clouds, of course, you're going to want to darken them up and give them more dramatic lighting and shadows. So these are some additional suggestions for lighting, creating your clouds. So just some quick tips. So here I'm on the object. I just have the one cloud there. If I go into properties, these are, I didn't really talk about these settings in the in the video, but of course this incre increases the, the density of your cloud. So one suggestion is to, you might want to increase the, the density to your cloud to thicken it up a little bit. And then the amplitude is how much of the texture actually comes through so like if when i say texture i mean the turbulence right here so if you come here and you bump this up you see it actually makes the cloud kind of go away because the more of the texture is actually coming through if you want to learn more about each and every one of these settings you can actually just go to the lightweight manual and do a pretty good job of kind of running through what everything does in my mind you just you know once you kind of know what it's supposed to do you, you can play around with it but i guess the most confusing thing is that it produces the complementary color so one another suggestion is this one is the color it, it is so white is white here and if you increase it it makes the whole thing more white right but on these two on scattering and absorption if you have white the more you increase it the the darker it's going to get if you want a cloud that's darker with more texture it actually make scattering white so that's one of the suggestions too is to darken the cloud, give it more shadow texture, change this color to white, and then increase the scattering scale. And then, of course, like I said already, the, the density. And absorption is sort of the same thing, though. You increase it, it makes it, it'll make it darker, too. Though this seems to be more global. The other setting I was going to say is that for your step size, you might actually want to bring this down a little bit more. I think I in the first video, I had raised this, and it's I think it's better to have it maybe a little bit lower. I was noticing some artifacts when I did a couple renders, so... It seemed to work better with a smaller, little smaller step size. The other suggestion is with regard to your lighting, you might want to move your light, not have your light in front of your cloud, but off to the side. And of course, you know, as with photography, that'll give you a more dramatic, more shadowing on the, on the side. So that's, you'd almost like put the light more of where you would put it as if you're lighting a, a subject, right? So you'd move your light to the side and not have it in the front. So I also did move the light. And the other thing, if we look at the properties under light, you might want to also play with your volumetric intensity there. That's a that's a light factor you might want to play with as well. I mean, increase, actually. Your, so under your light properties, the volumetric intensity. Move the light to the side and play with the vol volumetric intensity. The last thing, you might want to make sure that if you come up and you're in VPR and you click up here, it's real easy to miss this icon. Make sure that volume shadows is check because that's an important setting if makes sure it i think it is set by default so it, you just want to make sure that it is set there and believe it or not that's all the additional settings that i would recommend so if i just summarize them real fast you might want to bring your step size down if you want the cloud to be white you well, of course this will be white and then you bump that up you want to have your scattering also on white and then bump it up and then that'll make it darker and that's the same with absorption and then texture density you can play around with these to see what your cloud looks like under the light properties you want to might want to play with your your volume metric intensity as well and move your light to the side. Just have fun. So now let's say you wanted to add more than just one cloud. This is just one type of like your basic puffy cloud. I guess if you came over here and click on object and then you go to clone, like I, I showed in the previous video, you can just type in four or something like that. And of course it brings in more clouds. And actually you get some more interesting effects when the, the clouds are kind of on top of each other like that. But then you just, what you do is you just come and you, you would move them, start moving them off and resizing and repositioning them to create a more dramatic skyscape and that's that's pretty much it my main thing is just kind of go to the manual read up on the settings a little bit and then just come in here and play the other thing i did notice is that i i noted that i did have to increase some of my sample sizes on my rendering so you might want to go through and hit the usual suspects and, and bump up those uh, some of your sample settings and do a couple test renders to make sure you're not getting too much noise but i have to say that so far 
I think this does a really great job of making clouds. And once you get the workflow down, it's actually pretty easy and it's actually a lot of fun. So I think Lightwave's done a good job with this volumetric primitives and it allows you to kind of make some really nice clouds fairly quickly. So that's all I have to say for today. Thanks so much and thanks again to Prometheus for those suggestions. I, I really, I really appreciate it. So take care and I will talk to you guys later.